Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please welcome to the podium our principal, Ms. Michelle Ramsey. Family members, school board members, faculty, staff, and graduates, welcome to the 2020 Galileo Commencement Ceremony. A commencement ceremony is always such a special occasion. The culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of successes achieved. This year's commencement ceremony is no different. While the ceremony itself is different, we still will acknowledge and celebrate the hard work of our graduates. The class of 2020 is also making history, as this is the first time ever that a Galileo graduation is held on the Galileo campus. Seeing teachers, parents, and staff here today is a testament to the achievements of the graduates and the love and support they have received over the years. Parents, I wanna thank you for bringing your children to our school and entrusting them to us every day. Galileo faculty and staff, I wanna thank you for your dedication and commitment to our students each and every step of the way. Graduates, today is about you. It is a day to celebrate your accomplishments and successes over the course of your educational career. This is the day that you have been waiting for from the first time you walked into school. This is a very proud and an exciting moment in your life. Due to the current global pandemic, several of America's most inspiring politicians, business leaders, actors, athletes, and musicians have offered words of encouragement and support to this year's graduates. Among these, athlete LeBron James challenged graduates by stating, I know the last thing you wanna hear right now is stay home. That's not my message to you. My message is stay close to home, maybe not physically, but in every other way possible. Pursue every ambition, go as far as you can possibly dream and be the first generation to embrace a new responsibility, a responsibility to rebuild your community. Class of 2020, the world has changed. You will determine how we rebuild and I ask that you make your community your priority. Chef David Chang shares the greatest piece of knowledge he has gained thus far. He states, we should all remind ourselves in times like these, it's not about you. You're going to be happiest, in my opinion, when you try to be selfless. I hope you are proud of your achievements and I hope you're eager to get to work so that decades from now, you can take a look around you and say you left things a little better than you found them. In December, I came across an article entitled 20 Words for 2020. At the moment, it was just an interesting read. However, I did not know how relevant five of these words would be as we began to maneuver through this year. The first word is unpredictability. Nothing is set in stone. We have learned this year that uncertainty reigns. Storms will come and what you planned may not actually be. We must adapt. The second word is ready. Waiting will no longer cut it. Even though life is un unpredictable, we can be ready to face the challenges that lie ahead. Transformation is the third word. This is your opportunity to change the direction of the world. The fourth word is refresh. Take advantage of this fresh start as you close one door and enter another. The last word is authenticity. In a world experienced through screens, scripted narratives, and avatars, authenticity feels unattainable. Be authentic. 2020 graduates, you are unstoppable, unbreakable, and undefinable. You are made for greatness. As you continue on life's journey, I challenge you to be the difference wherever you may go. Please welcome Danville Public Schools Superintendent, Dr. Stanley B. Jones. To the graduates of the class of 2020, it is clear that no class before you has had to face the challenges you face today. With your school year severely disrupted in mid-March and having to have the most unique graduation ceremony in history. As you ponder this season of your life known as graduation, please be reminded that you are indeed the class that was born for this moment. For it does not define you, rather you define it. This is your legacy, to redefine any circumstance you face and turn it into an opportunity to forge a path forward. 
The pandemic is simply a challenge among many that you have faced on your journey through school. Our collective journey began five years ago when you were eighth graders and I began my tenure as superintendent of schools. Collectively, we've lived together through the flood of 2018 and the pandemic of 2020, both of which were disruptive and challenging, but not so much that you did not navigate a path forward. Those challenges alone should be enough to stop you in your path, but not this class. It's simply not in your spirit to quit. It's not in your psyche. You're simply born to forge the path forward, not only for yourself, but for the community, this nation, and the entire globe. In my opinion, you are the most important citizens in our community because you have the will and skill to make our world a better place. We must depend on your individual and collective talent to carry us into the future. I'm convinced that your talent, skill, grit, and fortitude will enable you to navigate through any challenge you face as graduates of Danville Public Schools. You've already demonstrated your agility and stick to itiveness with the major challenges you've faced in less than two decades on the planet. As a result, success is in your DNA. You were born to lead your own individual lives, and in this journey, you are the most important person. That is not selfishness or arrogance, it is a necessity. In my humble opinion, the world needs your skill and talent more than ever, for you are indeed tomorrow's leaders. But how you lead the world begins with how you lead your own life. It requires your self-discipline and your personal commitment to excellence and chasing your dreams with all of your energy and will. But unlike leaders of today, myself included, the challenges you faced in less than two de decades are monumental in comparison to those of us who've lived on the planet for more than half a decade. In the words of the great philosopher, Marshall Mathers, perhaps no words are more important or meaningful than his lyrics. Graduates, you have to formulate a plot. Success is your only option, failure is not. You better lose yourself in the music and the moment. You own it, you better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You can do anything you set your minds to. Congratulations. Please welcome to the podium our guest speaker, Mr. Wyatt Lee Carter. Coronavirus, Australian wildfires, African locust swarms, World War III nearly starting, and murder hornets. Just when you think 2020 could not get any worse, here I am as your guest graduation speaker. For those who do not know who I am, my name is Wyatt Lee Carter, and I'm a biology teacher here at Galileo Magnet High School. More importantly, I am also an alumnus of Galileo. Even though I graduated from here 12 years ago, many aspects of Galileo are still the same. The students are still awesome and highly accomplished. The school is still nationally ranked and recognized for preparing students for any future endeavors. And of course, Mr. Bryant is still crushing students' hopes and dreams in Algebra 2. Of course, there have been a lot of changes since I first walked out these doors, just as you all are doing now. For starters, there's an actual cafeteria now. It's no longer just beside the research center where the teachers lounge and those classrooms are. Yes, it was that small. Galileo has vastly expanded its offerings in extracurricular clubs and sports, and there's always an upcoming event to look forward to. When I was a senior here, we never got to be TAs. There was no late arrival or early dismissal, and we definitely did not get to leave the premises for a senior lunch. Now, while the school has nearly doubled in size, many of my teachers are now gone. When I was first hired here in 2016, the teachers who were present when I was a student here were probably thinking, how did that slacker become a teacher here? Well, I'm still asking myself that same question. Class of 2020, we've been through a lot together. I've had the opportunity to teach nearly every single one of you. A couple of you have managed to uh, somehow escape. Lucky you. We both started Galileo at the same time. My first year teaching here was also your first year. Now, that is unless you were a transfer student, in which case you just kind of messed up my entire point right there. We spent the last four years together, and it's definitely been an interesting ride. We've gone through a change of principal, both of whom are fantastic. 
teachers who retired, and teachers who have moved, such as to Arizona in the middle of the school year. Not that I'm referencing anybody in particular. <laughs> Excuse me. We've gone through hurricanes, flooding, power outages at the school, a record snowfall, more flooding, and I'm not even gonna bring up this year with the longest spring break ever. Despite all the craziness, we've had some great experiences, we have survived, and most importantly, we have thrived. You've had opportunities to experience a lot of first in Galileo history. The first ever Halloween party, as well as the first ever public Galileo engagement at the Halloween party the following year. First ever Galileo pep rally, Galileo's first ever state championship with ACE, and our first individual state championships in track. There have been so many firsts that you have been part of that I cannot list them all. But now, you graduates, you get to be part of another first. You get to be the first class to graduate at Galileo. While I know many of you are disappointed right now, it will forever be a part of our school's history and you will always be a part of that history. However, those things are now all in the past. And by the time you watch my speech, if you don't just skip over it, your graduation will also be part of the past. Well, what's next? My fellow Galileans. Ugh, I just made that up and it sounded better in my head. Um, what's next is your future. And I tried to think of this something inspiring and life-changing to tell you, but I've got nothing. So just like many of you all do with your essays, I did some Googling and along with some copy and paste. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. Boring. Be bold, be courageous, be your best. Meh. Don't hide from your mistakes. Yeah, some of you have plenty of practice in my classes. Follow your fear. Uh, I think that's how you end up in horror movies. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. I like this one. Mostly because, as many of you know, I like houses. But anyway, what does this quote mean? While I'm certainly no philosopher, I believe it to mean you cannot be complacent in your life. Instead of sitting around waiting for good things to happen, go out and make them happen. Honestly, I want you to take a minute to think about this question that I'm about to ask you. How have you spent your time during these past two months while everything has been shut down? This is a good time to pause if you need to think about it longer. Okay, that's long enough. I'm sure many of your answers included things like sleep, video games, and maybe even TikTok. Probably a lot of TikTok. But we'll come back to your answers in a moment. Next question. What are your dreams? What do you want to accomplish in your life? Once again, think about it. It's okay if you aren't sure yet. You'll figure it out in the next handful of years. Hopefully. Final question, I promise. Will any of the things that you've done during this quarantine benefit you in achieving your life goals and aspirations? Will they make you a more well-rounded individual? If you spent your time like how I spent most of my time, the answer is most likely no, unless you plan on becoming a professional sleeper or pro gamer. The point I'm trying to make is this. This has been an unprecedented time in our nation's history, and we've been stuck inside more than ever before. At first, it could seem like a waste of time, but it's all about how you use your time. If you use your time to make improvements to yourself, you're building a new door. That door could be learning new things, such as carpentry or cooking. It could be exercising and getting into better shape. It could be reading and writing. It could be drawing, painting, and sculpting. Or it could be coming up with ideas to start your own business. All of these and many others help build you into a better, more educated individual. 
Instead of just wasting your time waiting around for someone tell you, to tell you that it's safe to go back into this world. The more doors you build, the more inviting it will be for an opportunity to knock. Now, as a person who has graduated eh, a few times, it's at this point when you start to think, how much longer can he ramble? And to those of you who have sat through one of my lectures, you know I can go for about 90 minutes, but I won't do that to you this time. I'm just surprised to have made it all the way through the speech without mentioning all of my powder puff championships and being the first ever person in Galileo history to score a 600 on the biology SOL. Oh, shucks, so close. Well, class of 2020, I just wanna tell you to use your time wisely. It passes by more quickly than you'll ever realize. And before you know it, you may be up here on this very stage in my spot giving a speech to a future graduating class at Galileo Magnet High School. Congratulations to you all, you've earned it. Thank you, Mr. Carter. We have a token of appreciation for Mr. Carter for bringing the 2020 commencement address. We are extremely proud of Mr. Carter and we are excited to hear about his future endeavors. Please welcome to the podium, Galileo's 2020 valedictorian, Miss Angel Lynn. Good morning. Three years ago, I sat in the audience of the graduating class of 2017, listening to then valedictorian Josh Buckley's speech. He quoted Sir Isaac Newton saying, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. Three more years at Galileo and I would only just begin to understand how right Buckley was to say that one's path to success relies on the help and support of others around him. Today, I stand in front of the building where I have met people who have shared their wisdom and experiences with me. Those who have shown me compassion, empathy, friendship, as well as those who have offered me constructive criticism and tough love. <laughs> These giants along my path to success have come in the form of teachers, coaches, friends, and so many others in my time at Galileo. However, more often than not, I failed to realize the impact these figures had on my life. As I stand before many of my giants this morning, I would like to say thank you for everything that you guys have taught me. Even though you were a little late on the whole diesel thing. Sorry, Dad. As we go through life, we encounter trials and hardships and countless moments of disappointment. With that said, it has been an eventful senior year to say the least. I understand that many of us may be feeling a good mixture of excitement, uncertainty, and maybe even a little bit of defeat today. It does seem unfair that after four years at Galileo, five for some of us, this is what our goodbye looks like. However, despite missing out on a traditional graduation, <laughs> know that this moment is in every manner as meaningful as it would have been. Our Galileo faculty has put together a touching and memorable experience, experience for us to feel celebrated in our accomplishments. We persevered through four years of balancing a challenging curriculum, extracurriculars, many of us having responsibilities as home, at home as well, all while experiencing growth and discovery and all else that comes with being a teenager. And finally, the most unexpected obstacle yet, a global pandemic. In the face of all of these trials, we have carried on with grit and determination, and that is worth celebrating. As we stand here and reflect on our high school careers, I want us to take a moment and consider our senior year. Because of this pandemic, we've been robbed of integral moments in our high school lives, such as decision day, our senior picnic, and so many lasts. The last drive to school, the last time we would sit in the commons before a class or count down the seconds before the lunch bell rang. The last poorly but passionately sung Bohemian Rhapsody at senior prom. And the last goodbyes we would give each other in these very halls at 305. These seemingly mundane moments in our lives hold so much value, yet we seem to take each one for granted until the time comes to part with it. Whether it be an experience, life lessons, or simply enjoyment, each one of these events has so much to offer us. We recognize now more than ever that so much is not guaranteed, 
So I encourage you all to take full advantage of the moments that we are blessed to experience. Do not be afraid to feel loss or pain. Do not be afraid to show compassion or excitement. Embrace it all and dare to let yourselves be vulnerable in a world that criticizes vulnerability. Let us make each moment we live so meaningful that we never again sit with regret thinking of what could have been. The more we linger on the missed opportunities, the more we linger on the trials and the hardships and all of the negative looming aspects of our lives, the more we will overlook all of the good the world has to offer us. And good takes human form and our very own Galileo staff, who we take for granted like no other. How often do we walk through pristine hallways and sit in clean classrooms and forget to thank Mr. Polk, Ms. Singletary, Ms. Fitzgerald, and Ms. Gunn for keeping our school looking so nice? How about Ms. Carter and Ms. Clark, Ms. Jones, and Ms. Paul, who never fail to ask how we are each morning at breakfast and again at lunchtime and somehow always manage to have a smile on their faces? and Mr. Dallas and Nurse Wright, who not only keep our school safe, but are two of the sweetest people you'll ever meet. Think of Miss Hawkins, who was always there to greet us when we walk in the front doors, and Miss Sexton, who somehow knows how to do everything in the school. How about the counseling duo of Hatchet and Richie, who go above and beyond for us, and Miss Ramsey, who keeps everything running so smoothly and is always finding ways to make this school better. And perhaps the people we take for granted most, our teachers who help prepare us for the ways who help prepare us for the world in ways our young minds cannot even begin to understand yet the english teacher who teaches us to take blunt but genuine criticism and helps us learn and consequently grow from it the biology teachers who are so passionate about their subjects and teach material that really challenges you to be a better student Consider the art teacher who helps us through personal troubles and is always there to share a laugh with us. Or the theater teacher who is so invested in our success and inspires us in the best ways possible. Think of the math teachers who truly dedicate themselves to their students, sacrificing personal time to help us grasp the content. Or history and philosophy teachers who teach so vivaciously we can't help but be drawn to their lessons. Consider all those times we were so exhausted we just couldn't keep our heads up in class. But our teachers understood. They always seemed to understand. Think of how our teachers and coaches constantly remind us of how capable we are and encourage us to better ourselves in all manners of life. These people are giants who we take for granted are so good to us and so important to our path to success. It's time we acknowledge that and actively show our appreciation with them, for them, especially with the knowledge, which is more obvious now than ever. There are many people who do not get the chance to say goodbye to their loved ones. Don't take these opportunities for granted either. Know that we are more than lucky as the yearbook staff may say, <laughs> to have met such phenomenal people in these crossroads. From the teachers to the classes down to the very layout of this building, I took Galileo for granted. I have never experienced the love and the support that I have felt here in any other environment, and I will never again take such a blessing for granted. It's been a good run. <laughs> I'll be a Falcon forever. Thank you all for your time and congratulations once again to our class of 2020. Angel Lynn, we are extremely proud of you and all of your accomplishments and during your time here at Galileo. I'm proud to present to you the 2020 Valedictorian Medal. <laughs> Thank congratulations. You. <laughs> Please welcome to the podium Galileo's 2020 salutatorian, Miss Mary Carrington Kiki McLaughlin.
Galileo class of 2020, we made it. Congratulations, all of you. We all worked hard to get here. We all had bleak moments and joyful days and an entire range in between. But we deserve to be so very proud. I hope that whatever we learned here, we carry into whatever we do next, military, college, or workforce. I hope we all do wonderful things, that we live long and prosper. I must give a heartfelt thank you to all the parents, guardian, and family who helped us get here. We owe you so, so much. I also thank everyone who works in the school and helps shape it into the wonderful place it is. Thank you to the teachers, the counselors, the custodial staff, the security guards, the lunch ladies, the front office people, the principal. Everyone who works here. It's not just the important work they do, it's the atmosphere they create. I'll always remember the nicknames Mr. Dallas tagged us with and the smiles the lunch ladies gave us every morning. For me, Galileo wasn't just a school. It was a second home. No joke though. I'm pretty sure I spent more waking hours at Galileo than I did at home. My experience isn't universal, but there are plenty of people who love Galileo like I do. This speech is a love letter to Galileo. There's this moment in our lives when we become aware of ourselves, what we look like, who we want to be, who we are now. But that revelation comes with discomfort. When we see ourselves, we realize that the world sees us too. Everyone has different circumstances, personalities, insecurities, and it's hard. This is a love letter because Galileo was the first place I was ever able to become comfortable with myself. Part of that is simply growing up, but I do think Galileo is a special place. Galileo challenged us with everything from rigorous academics to awkward social situations to hot, hilly cross-country meets, and it gave me so much. I grew from those experiences. I found people I loved and who loved me in return. This is a love letter to those people as well. The people I met here are so open and warm. I remember on my very first day of freshman year, a sophomore smiled at scared little 14 year old me and she asked me to sit with her at breakfast. That's not unusual, that's just Galileo. The thing that makes Galileo so special is its accepting atmosphere. We can pursue our passions, be who we are without the judgment of the outside world. This isn't a place where we come to terms with who we are. It's the place where we express it as loudly as we want. I love Galileo because when I walk in, I see club posters that people worked on together, students playing Super Smash Bros, the beautiful artwork hung up in the research center, theater guild members rummaging through the costume closet, track kids running through the halls in the shortest shorts possible, <laughs> and the ace players pulling pranks and being hooligans. Everyone who comes to the school made a choice to be here, or maybe your mom made the decision, but Galileo isn't the default, and there's nowhere I'd rather have gone. I made mistakes, but I also found a home, and it's a shame that our time here was cut short. I hope we all remember our last Halloween dance, the teachers we drove crazy, the times we cried in the bathroom, the boys cheering at Powder Puff and the girls fighting for football victory, and walking to Delano's on half days. Normally, in a speech like this, we'd say, this is the last time all of us will ever be in one place again. Well, turns out the last time we'd ever be in one place together passed by without any of us knowing. Friday, March 13th, gathered outside for Pi Day. That was it. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that we need to value the people around us. We simultaneously need to stay away from other people to keep them safe while staying in touch to be there for each other. I miss everyone who should be in the GW Auditorium right now. I want to hear the chatter of friends, the laughter coming from the people I hold dear. We are the generation of COVID-19. That's not something any of us asked for. We've lost a lot and life will look different for us, even when things return to normal. This pandemic will irreversibly change the world. This is our generation's World War II, our Vietnam, our 9-11. Our worldviews are being dramatically altered. They will be unique to our generation. And we will be the ones figuring out how to make our planet a better place. We will have a say in solutions for a more efficient, safer existence. The path forward can be found in laws and initiatives to help people in need, in how we keep elderly people safe in church, the way we cast votes, the way we work, and so much more. 
Of course, the future we face isn't confined to a pandemic. There are major challenges in addition to and beyond this, and I believe we can tackle them together. Galileo has prepared us to pursue the lives we want, and this pandemic is preparing us to adapt to whatever life throws at us. This love letter comes to an end. I wish the best of luck to the underclassmen who blessedly have more time here, and best luck to all of us diving headfirst into the unknown. I must sign off. The phrase is warm regards, yours truly, best wishes, sincerely. They don't work for us in these unprecedented, uncertain times. I end with much love, Kiki McLaughlin and the Galileo class of 2020. Thank you. Mary Carrington, Kiki McLaughlin. We are extremely proud of you and your accomplishments during your time here at Galileo. I would like to present to you the Galileo 2020 Salutatorian Medal. Congratulations. Thank you. At this time, we will present the candidates for graduation. Caleb Adams. Jayla Adams. Florencia Albonos. Grace Burnish. Megan Branch. Anaya Brandon. <laughs> Delilah Jade Briscoe. Sahar Bushra. <laughs> Jordan Carr. Ladaviana Ann Carter. <laughs> Dewana Lachelle Cobbs.
Luis Colon, Jr. Nautica Davis. Danielle Dewan. Adrian Eldridge. Carrington Elliott. Nicholas Escobar. James Farlow the third. Ariana Foise. Quinaya Louise Foster. Kayla Marie Gates. Luke Garcia. Keyshawn Lamar Jiggets. Kincaid Livingston Huggins. Marlene Ireta Rodriguez. Cesar Miguel Ireta. Austin Jarvis. Thank you. 
Ikson Jepper. Malcolm Isaiah Johnson. Ashley Catherine Jones. Jaden Kershaw. Nicholas Langley. Angel Lynn. Kiki McLaughlin. Richard, Andrew, Arthur, Jacob, Montez Bradley. Ashante, Jatavia, Mosley. Bria Ashanti Motley. Monasia, LaKayla, Deshaun, Noel. Monica Onuma. Kayla, Denise, Overby. Ethan, Randall, Parker. Shafi Yasin Rashid.
Renee Rodriguez. Tiaja Carlisa Monet Saunders. <laughs> Jalon Sai King Scales. Christopher Scott. Nyandia Lachey Singletary. Alexis Smith. Jasmine Shatam Hope Sidnor. Megan Elizabeth Tate. Autumn Turpin. Savior Amir Waddell. Austin Baden Wade. Isaiah Wagstaff. Kimberly Danielle Waller Petty. Byron Walters. Blake Tyler Warren.
Carleon, Coyle, West. <laughs> Kelsey Lynn Whitlock. Jackson Thomas Wiles. <laughs> Colin Ray Wilson. They rule Wingfield. Deshaun Lamar Wingfield. Zoe Winnis. <laughs> Owen Paul Wood. Candidates. You have successfully completed an approved program of study as set forth by the Virginia Board of Education and implemented through the Danville Public School System. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I now pronounce you graduates. Please turn your tassels. Congratulations to the Galilea Magnet High School Class of 2020.